Good afternoon to all the cricket fans out there. We just want to thank you guys for viewing on Mac TV as we bring you live T20 from the stadium here in Broward, you know, where we're having some wonderful game. And as we speak, the ball just got into the boundary, and we have the Florida Scorpions versus the Spratans today. Spratans taking strike, and it's already the first ball, four runs. So we're at the beginning of the game. So we are in for an interesting afternoon. We have some lovely games earlier. And the evening is looking pretty good as we look out, you know. The clouds have moved and the weather is good for cricket. And that's another Florida slice. It's down to backward square on the boundary there. And they go through for a quick single. So mm -hmm. as I was saying, you know, yesterday we did not have a ball bowl being bowled here inside of the stadium due to rain. Today is the first we have taken off the cover, so the wicket was pretty wet uh, in the earlier, but it's pretty much drying out. You know, we see the ball coming through much faster than earlier in the morning. The second ball, so, so David is the bowler. We have Karti who is on five. David is still yet to score. Yes, Ian, uh, another big match up here as Spartans comes up against Florida Scorpions. And we'll tell you a little bit on the, on the teams there. David, with some bit of swing. And we've seen, Ian, we have seen, we have seen some good... Um, we need... Uh, we've seen, we've seen some good left arm uh, fast bowling... Uh, it seems that every time we come on to the mic, we've seen we've seen quite a few left arm paces, and Annie's David is one of them. He runs into ball to Kenroy David, and David is truly offside. Can't beat the man there at cover. And so GS Spartans, uh, one of the overseas team, uh, comes into this match against a local named team, Florida Scorpions. Uh, but don't uh, don't be fooled by Florida Scorpions here because they have quite a few Scottish national players and in the mix and David on strike and uh, this one is uh, uh, not timing it well gets a single out towards short mid on and that could complete the first over here as Florida Scorpions takes on GA's Spartan six without loss so a very good over there from David you know six without loss first over I say it's gonna be another interesting game you know the First two game was quite interesting, and the last one went down to the very last over. And this one is expected to give the same excitement. So, as we look out here, you know, players they're just moving around in a pretty good field setting. And the Spratans they decided on batting, and we're expecting them to post a good total here this afternoon. And for all our viewers, I just want to thank you guys for joining us, you know, on Mac TV Live. You know, we bring you cricket, lovely cricket all over the world. So this is the channel to tune in on, Mac TV. Uh, yes, Ian, and uh, of course, uh, in the tournament itself, as has been the case in other U.S. Uh, Open tournament, this, this is really a global event. Players from all over the world. Uh, we see that the fielding team having quite a bit of uh, Scottish international players, and we'll certainly highlight them as we go along. Uh, Stefan Myberg comes out of uh, uh, out of the Netherlands, Dutch player, and of course we have we've got Michael Leishk, um, Safian Sharif out of Scotland. Number fifty has been given the ball, and he runs an out the ball to Kenroy David. Ah, David gets one that edges past uh, second slip. And it goes away for a well-productive shot. In the end, it doesn't matter how they come off the edge of Kenry, uh, Kenroy David. And it goes away for four. Yes, it was a pretty good ball. And I could have brought him a wicket there. But it went through the slip fielder and down into the boundary. Four runs. So runs are coming. We're just in the second over. 1.1 over. Ten runs on the board already. So Satyan, Satyan Sharif... Uh, uh, national player out of Scotland and uh, getting a good first ball. Ten on the board. 
Yes, I really love his action, you know. Sharif, I like the way he run up to the wicket. He looked pretty much well energized, you know. Looked like he want to take some wicket and he also want to bowl fast this afternoon. So, as we watch him turn to his mark there, you know, pretty good cricket going on here. So, Sharif runs into ball to David and David gets a ball back and across. Good running, just... Uh, just pushing it out towards the offside, and they come back for a couple of runs. So good running here from Spartans, uh, Kenroy David and, and Casey. Just making sure that the scoreboard just kept ticking, and not only ticking, but uh, doubling up on on the ones there, Ian. Good yes, running, uh, 12 uh, on the board. The Spartans would have seen what happened in the earlier games. They would see that the singles really matters. So it's also going to come down to how well they run between the wickets. And they're doing a good job at this moment. So ten overs aside, sixty deliveries a game. Not to be not to be confused with sixty balls. That's a lot of balls for a tournament. <laughs> and cricket, uh, cricket is one game that has always been measured in uh, in languages can throw you off. Right? Can throw you off or can mean different things. And an expansive drive here from Kenroy David doesn't go well. Ball out swinging outside the off stump. Good line and length there from. Uh, from Satya and Sharif, just inducing the, the batsman to perhaps play one of those big drives. Yes, yeah, Sharif looked like he's got planning on keeping the ball up before the batsman, which is a good thing. We have seen that the short balls doesn't do it here today. You know, the wicket is already slow, so it's just sitting and waiting to be hit. So he's really bowling good. He's going through with a lot of energy. I just like the way he approached the wicket. Oh, a lofted shot over long on. Feel is running back. And they'll come back for a couple of runs. So in the end, another couple of runs here for for Kenroy David. And so far, eight runs in the over so far from Sachi and Sharif. Yes, so David, he seems to be a no-nonsense batsman there. He's really approaching the game positively. You know, he's going for his shots, you know, he's also watching. So, you know, good approach by him. And Sharif, as he run away to the ball. Yeah, another good uh, looking shot here from Kenroy David. So, um, in fact, that might have been uh, Casey Carty, but uh, in the end, 15 off a uh, couple of overs here. As we've seen an over from uh, Anis David and one from Satyan Sharif. So, a good start to this inning here. 15 without loss, you know, in the second over. We see a little bit of misfielding, but only a single. And, you know, with this kind of game, as a field inside, you really want to contain the batting team to as little runs as possible because you don't want to go out there with a big total, you know. That's already stressing on the mind. So, so far, you know, I think it is evenly posed. I think the plan of the Florida Scorpion is really to get an early wicket. So we have some good bowling. So Sharif, he bowled a pretty good over there. Yeah, Annie's David will continue his first of over for six. And the one from um, Satyan Sharif has gone for nine. So uh, Kenroy David, he's, uh, he's, look, he's looked a good driver of the ball. He's been quite fluent in the drives. Oh, he gets an inside edge and it will run away. No one's fault. And it goes away for four. The batting team's benefits. And four runs off the bat of Kenroy David. Yes, so these two batsmen definitely seem to be in a positive mindset in that they're playing their shot, they're, they're going for it. And however the runs come, you know, it is runs, they'll take it. So good going so far for the batting team, the Spartans. Yeah, Craig Wallace, the wiki keeper, he's a, he's a Scottish national wiki keeper, Ian. So even he, having played at the top level, could not dive across. Always a difficult proposition because the fact is uh, when all oh, that's beautifully driven through the offside and that's one of the classic shots we've seen off the day off the bat of Kenroy David. It's 23 on the board. It doesn't get more prettier than that. Well, he caressed that ball, you know, and it just run gracefully into the boundary. Four runs. There is class about that shot, you know. 
Uh, it's one of those grong in an, an international venue that the shots will really look pretty on. And beating the offside field, classic cricket has come back even in T20 format, in even in T10 format. And a lovely shot from Kenroy David races up to 18. Here is Anis David. And again, he's driving, can't beat the ring. And the ball goes up to a point position. And the score remains at 23. Uh, without loss in two and a half overs already gone Ian. Yes, you know, so we're we're getting into this game here, you know, because before you know it it's over. It's a ten over affair, you know. We were looking for twenty twenty, but the weather did not allow us to do all of that unless we'll be here for excessive days. But we wanna get this in over this weekend. So good cricket being played here in the ten ten version and we're really enjoying it and I know you guys out there are enjoying it also. So Casey Carty, who has been the uh, the less uh, dominant uh, partner so far, but he will mind. And cricket has always been a team sport, and they're going at nine and over. David runs in. Uh, ball cut away. Ma, no ball comes out, and I was beginning to quickly uh, wonder if uh, no ball is going to be called there. It is called. And so a free hit will follow up uh, here, Eon. Ball uh, because of height. Yeah, I think that was a bit high there, you know, from David. And the umpire, pretty good all day. They've been doing an excellent job out there. They're calling the extras wherever they come by, you know. The no balls, they're calling it. The wides, they're calling it. And that was just another no ball there. It was high. So a chance for a big hit here. Yeah, especially when it's coming from a fast bowler. You probably might have uh, given some bit of slack had it not been one of those express bowler runs in. Uh, free hit ball crashes through the offside again up the bat of Kenroy David and that's a couple of times in this over exquisitely through the offside for four more that ball have class all over it you know the way he approaches his game it's a level of certainty he knows he's gonna play that shot and definitely it just run right into the boundary so I really love the way David is batting out there he looks so confident you know like he supercharges even yeah, lovely shot. Couple of, couple of, couple of. In fact, three boundaries and it's over two classic shots. And they pick up another run. So very expensive over here for, for Anis David and also Florida Scorpions. Sixteen of that over. It's thirty-one without loss. Good going to the Spartans. You know, I know. Out there earlier, we thought it would be difficult batting, but you know the wicket seemed to dry it out pretty well and. They're really taking advantage of it because they're going great guns, you know. Anything over 10 and over is pretty good. We have seen the scores here all day, you know. 100 is considered a good total, and they're going pretty well. Yes, Ian, we've had a fair chance uh, after after two completed games to have a sense of what a par score is uh, on this field in a T10 game. And so far, we are beginning to say that 100, 110 is, is a stretch. And anything, anything under that, anything under that, as we saw in the last game of 90, seems like teams will, will overhaul. So somewhere in the vicinity of 100, 110 and beyond, looks like it's going to be the score to really win here if you're batting first. Definitely. If I'm the captain of any of this, this team here, I will be aiming at 100 and anything else coming extras will take it. But 100 is a par score, really. So Jabir Sheikh. The left arm leg spinner comes into the attack on straight away. Kenroy David gets the scoreboard ticking. It's 32 on the board. Yes, so Kenroy David in a first ball face by him from the spinner. He still looked pretty confident. You know, against the pace bowling, he was very, very confident. As we can see, he had played some lovely shots which make its way to the boundary. So he looks pretty good. And the Spartans are going pretty good. 32 without loss. David is on 25. Uh, yes. Six. Uh, yes, Ian, and I was uh, at, a, at about that same point making the point that he was driving the ball nicely. Only that we saw that the uh, that how well he was driving the ball on the offside really uh, come to fruition with a couple of big drives through the offside. One of them, of course, off a free hit ball. So you may want to give the credit to... Uh, uh, to the batter that he knew that he needed to play a big shot, but otherwise, and that still the shot needed to be executed. Lofted shot is gone. We'll have to wait and see. May have uh, 
I may have palmed it back into play. And if that's the case, in fact, it uh, has gone for six. So six is the ruling from the umpire. And so another six off the bat of Kenroy David. Yes, that was an excellent shot by David. Even though the feeler on the boundary, he had a chance of getting his hand up, but not before getting beyond the boundary. So that was another six. Uh, good hit, good strike rate from him. So this one, he works through the offside, just manipulating the ball. Realizing that the ball is short, that the wicket is slow, not, not, not electing to pull through the onside, but just trying to spoon it up towards the offside. A little spread offside feel as uh, Carty gets the ball towards the offside and can't score. So a good start here from the Spartans. Well, Carty, we haven't seen much of him. You know, he been just playing the supporting role to David, who is going great guns. You know, David seems to be the winning ticket here for the Sprat and the way he's batting. You know, he's batting pretty well. And if he continue like that, and you know, I expect him to at least get a 50 here, he's going pretty good. Well, they're on course to get to 110 overs. They're going at 10 and over. With the news, David is, uh, in, in fact, Kenroy, Kenroy David has made a, Made a very good start. He is up to 32 from just 19 balls. And you look at Casey Carty. He's on seven off six. So they have done some work in the early here. And we could see a bowling change. And he's David two overs. No made none for 22. Gets a relief. And Shaw comes into the to the attack at the moment. Introduction of a new bowler, you know, captain must be saying, uh, let's see if we could do something different. So, new bowler Shaw being introduced here. So, ball pulled through the onside, going up towards the square leg boundary. Only a single as Abhishek Shaw uh, comes into the attack here, perhaps trying to stop the flow of runs. The last man bowled on that end, gave up 11 runs and over. So if he if he bowls an over that gives up 10 runs, he's better than the man who bowled there first. Oh, a lofted shot into the onside and it's gone all the way. From the bat of uh, Casey Carty. And that's another big shot here from the GS Spartans batsman. Couple of sixes in the inning so far. And that's uh, lovely to watch. Let's take a look. Yeah, off spin. Yep. Big swing. Nice floor the bat. And it's bye-bye. Uh, Central Broward Regional Park, 47 without loss. So I guess Scotty is just reminding his fans that he, he's no chicken. You know, he, He's able to hit the ball just as hard as David. And he's doing that right now. He's changing his game. So 34 balls remaining. Balls winding down. And they're going at uh, at almost 11 runs and over, so not not a bad start here at all. In fact, it, they're going great, considering uh, they haven't lost any wicket. And both Kenroy David and and Carty looks quite capable of uh, scoring quickly. It's a very good start, you know. Very good start for the batting team. They're running very good between the wicket, and they're taking the boundaries. So. They seem to have a very good communication. There seem to be very clear message in terms of the game plan. And they're really getting at it. They're almost half mark and they're playing pretty well. So 32 balls remaining. Abhishek Shaw given the ball, the off spinner. Already gone for nine in the over so far. And this one could be a leg by, but it still adds to the to the over. Leg by is a signal from the umpire. So at least in this game, we don't see as much extras as earlier in the game before. Uh, with Kyle Phillips, he had about 12 to 13 extras. So the 50 is up here for Spartans. Uh, from our understanding, Eon, one of the teams that, that, that has come out from the St. Martin area in the, uh, in the West Indies. And this might have been the the association that uh, Cricket Council USA have had with the St. Martin uh, tournaments in the last couple of years. We've seen the MAC 59 series and we have seen the Cricket for Life series in, in the last couple of years. And so 
the exchange programs uh, between Cricket Council and USA has paid up good dividends and we've seen the visit here from GA Spartans I was still trying to figure out what GA stands for. <laughs> yeah, both of us trying to figure out what the GA stands for, but all I know it's great cricket right now because they're playing some good cricket out there, you know. Pretty well executed shot. The batsmen, they seem pretty confident, you know. They're gracefully just guiding the ball into the boundary and taking the singles when the ball is spot on, you know. They, they're working the ball around, so they're making every ball count out there, and that's so good. All right, so we'll welcome back um, Ahmed Rana into the box. And uh, it's 50 on the board at Casey Carty, the man on strike. Welcome back, uh, Rana. We've seen, we've seen wonderful cricket uh, today. It's uh, been excellent weather. Yes, and you yourself is doing fine, I understand. Yes, Lenny, you're right. Faisalabad Falcons won the match, chasing down. And in the first match we saw, Agwan couldn't chase it down. But this match is very exciting right now. Spartans versus Sc Florida Scorpion. A good, good shot and good fielding for Steven Myberg. And 52 for zero, so no loss. And, you know, the... Run rate is very important in this 10 over games. I've been saying this for all day. And you can see currently 9.4 and 52. They're cruising along. Good. Yeah, we've had a chance. Oh, lofty shot over long off. And it's cleared a man there. And it's gone for a US Open maximum. And another another six that goes across the rope. Uh, uh, Ahmad Rana. Three sixes so far in the innings. Yes, so you know, scoreboard moves to 58, and the, of course, the partnership going to be 58 because they haven't lost any wicket. So both the off, off openers are well set right now, and they are doing great. Cardi is on 21 for 12, David on 35 for 23. So this ball is played up towards the backward square area again, so runs are coming quite easily here for the GS Spartans. They're going at 10.11 at the moment. And we've seen nine runs in the over so far. Kenroy David on 35. Casey Carty on 22. I want to say good afternoon to the, to the viewers in St. Martin. Yes, uh, St. Martin is a beautiful country, and Mac Qureshi had a tournament there, Mac 59, with Adam, Sco Adam Stanford. I've been to St. Martin four times. That island people love cricket, and half of the island is Dutch and half of the island is French. And uh, next to the island is called Small Island Anguilla. They also love cricket, and Angola is only 13.5 miles long and 3.5 mile square mile width, you know. But in Caribbean, you guys love two things. You love the chicken curry, the chutney music, and of course, the cricket. So thank you, Rana. Good start here from uh, Spartans. They're going at 10 runs and over. As Abhishek Shah continues here, 9.73 is the current run rate. Yes, and, you know, 60 runs without losing a wicket. Florida Scorpion has given only three extra run. A good shot toward left side. The fielder is there. It's going to be a one run. So both batsmen are set now. I think we're going to see some fireworks soon from them. So three C's, huh? Chutney, chicken curry, and cricket. Well, that's Ahmad Rana for you. He studies world culture from time to time. And Kenroy David goes through the offside. Feel is coming around. And they'll come back quickly for a couple of runs. Chance of a run out is gone. So Casey Carty, I think, uh, has been dismissed. We'll confirm that. Might have been David himself. Uh, looking for a couple of runs, and uh, yeah, I think it's Kenroy David has to go. So 
He falls for 30, 36, 62 for one. This is what good fielding is all about. You see a lot of players are players from Netherlands in Florida Scorpion and they play professional cricket all over the year. And they all look fit, you know what I mean? And sometimes not only physically, but you have to be mentally fit in cricket as well. And you see the chasing down from Fal Faisalabad Falcons, Roman Reis went up the order and shows the experience and took their Faisalabad Falcons home to win the match. So the news batsmen are walking in. Sherwin Peters. Sherwin Peters. Yeah, ill-advised second run there, but uh, we saw a very good throw from the man out in the deep. And in the end, Kenroy David uh, perishes. And so 62 for one in the seventh over, being bowled here by Abhishek Shah. Yeah, Abhishek Shah took the wicket. And there's a second over his bowling. So pardon me, it was a run out, Lenny. They need some wickets and put the pressure on if they want to keep them tight. And here's the first ball. So Peter's on strike. And they play in a miss. So Abhishek Shaw, let's see what he's done in the over so far. He's, he's given up two singles. He's bowled a couple of dots. In fact, he's bowled three dots, including the one with a wicket. Well, that would have been a dot because they, they got a single on that ball, but two dots in the over so far. And straying outside the, the off stump, called a wide. And I got to say that uh, uh, the umpires have been quite stringent on the, on the wides here. Anything just outside off, they've made sure that they have called it. Yeah, umpire Rane is an experienced umpire. A good short towards the leg side in the gap but the fielder comes to pick up the ball so that's uh mangesh rani yes that, yes oh mangesh yeah. rani and he's arshad yusuf the, he's from the boston area oh okay he's from the boston area yeah i met him last year in u.s open and uh current situation i think his partners are on top right now so Carty on strike, he's gone, he's gone big over long on, it's clear the playing area way out of the, of the perimeters here at uh, Central Broward Regional Park. He picks up another six and it's 70 for one at the end of seven. So they've uh, kept quite, uh, quite in touch with 10 runs and over, Rana. Yes, this is the goal right here in this format, you know, because it's a 2020 tournament, but you know, the format becomes shorter because of the rain. So, you know, 70 for one is very healthy and strong total over here. And you've seen is anything after 10 runs and over for chasing team is not, you know, that easy. And currently looking at the condition being windy and, you know, this is not the weather the Sunshine Florida State people are used to. They're used to have the weather in high 80s or, you know, maybe high 70s. But as of right now, 62 is the weather. You can see some players have jackets on. Some spectators are there. DJ doing what is best at DJ. So it appears Sakib Zulfikar comes into the attack. With GS Spartans going at 10 and over. We've seen a good knock so far from uh, from Casey Carty. You look on his scorecard there, 29 off 16 balls. Yeah, it's a good sensible inning. Oh, what a good shot, but the balls went up in the air. It's in the gap, but it's a huge six towards the cover. And this shot is not easy to play, Lenny. Oh, that's a lovely shot again from a GA Spartans batsman. This time off Sherwin, Sherwin Peters. He goes quickly up to seven from just three balls. Brings the equation down to 17 balls remaining. And the Spartans going at 10 and a half runs and over 10.6 to be exact. And Sakib Zulfikar giving the ball, runs in again. 
Ball played up towards the onside. Feeler is there, number 29. And so seven of that over so far. Rana with 16 balls remaining. We saw 100, 110. Looks to be a good score. Yes, the last game was 91. Before that was 117. Anything above 100 is good right here. And like you've been saying, the psychology effect. Here's the ball went up in the air. The fielder is coming under it. Oh, good try, but... Ball went over the boundary. Umpire says six runs. Yeah, I feel I had a bit of play on that one, but the ball was always going to travel a little bit over the ropes. Probably he needed uh, maybe a couple of inches more, Rana. He tried his best. Here yeah, you can yeah. see this. that's all he can do. That's the best he can do. Run out of real estate. So 83 for one. Karthi is betting very responsible here. Yeah, he goes up to 36. He's he's looked, uh, uh, he started off a little bit slow when he was batting with Kenroy David. But we have seen he can he can uh, turn the pressure on. He's up to 36. Yes, he's and... 14 balls remaining. This is the eighth over. And the Peters is on eight, hitting that huge six. Socket ball ready. Swing and a miss. A good leg break from Sakib. Yes, uh, Sakib Zulfikar has gone for 14 in the over so far with just one more ball remaining. 84. 13 balls remaining. Oh, he smashed this one into the offside. He's offering a chance. It's, and it's accepted by the man at long off. That's the end of Sherwin Peters. 84 for two. 12 balls remaining. Yes, 84 for two. After eight, 10.7 current run rate. But what a fabulous atmosphere over here, Lenny. US Open 2019, right here, Broward County Stadium. Especially thanks to our team from Matt Qureshi, we know Mom Chun, to Zafar Shah, to Fiza, and of course, the special team for the live coverage, Tahseen Ahmed, Rashid Ahmed, and Ronnie and Brendan Good. And we have to say that management has done a good job from Sufyan Mahmood and Sufyan Ahmed. We have a lot of Ahmed, Lenny. I think Ahmed is taking over USA now. <laughs> uh, yes, Rana. Ahmed Rana. Ahmed Rana. King Rana. King Rana. <laughs> So, Akim Charles comes to the middle. 12 balls remaining. Casey Carty will be on strike. And so, 12 balls remaining. Well in sight of probably getting to the three-figure mark. Yes, that's what they need. And still, the captain is okay with bringing the spinner on. Yeah, well, definitely will have to be a change. I think... Uh, uh, Shaw has bowled out, and uh, Shake comes into the to the attack here. And so, eleven balls remaining. Yes, eighty-five for two. So 11 balls remaining. New batsman out in the middle, Akeem Charles. Oh, lofted into the offside. Looks very safe from here. They could be challenging for two. They come back. And the throw comes in. Not before the batsman has crossed for a couple of runs. So uh, 10 balls remaining. So ball pulled into the onside again. And Akeem Charles battling out with uh, Casey Carty. Nine balls remaining, 88 on the board. Yeah, 
Here you go, Kareem. A good cut shot right in the gap, but the fielder is there. The protection is there. So it's going to be only one run, but last. One over and two balls left. So you can say eight deliveries. This next set deliveries. They need to get minimum of 11 run to get a psychological effect on the other team. Like you said, 99 and 100 is the big difference. So here you go. Try to pull the shot towards the left side, but miss the ball, hits the pads, and only one run. So Sheikh has ball, four balls, and given five runs so far. And you know, Charles and Cardi, especially Cardi, needs to have more strikes. So here's Cardi facing Sheikh, and cut short. Towards the four run. So it's a four run, 94 for two after nine over Lenny. I think it's a great total on the board. And you know, the run rate is 10.4. Very strong and healthy run rate. It's going to be a little bit tough to chase down for Florida Scorpion. Yeah, they're on course here to get to 100. They're 94 at the end of nine. And you can see the flag of St. Martin flying and the bastard of St. Martin. He came last year too with the Adam Sanford team. Yeah, and he, he's a very smart man. He's, uh, he's positioned himself where the camera from this angle here is gonna catch him in, in the picture. Yes, that's what he does. And I'm pretty sure that uh, he, he representing his flag there. The, is that the St. Martin flag? Yeah, this is a St. Martin flag and he is wearing a St. Martin flag too. Yeah. If you can see the red, white and and uh, blue, I forgot the gentleman name, but we had a good talk. We had a good meeting last yeah. year. We'll have to uh, we'll have to ask our camera crew to zoom in a little bit there. But uh, number fifty uh, has uh, will finish up here, and that appears to be Sakib Zulfikar. In fact, uh, Satyan Sharif is the bowler. Yeah, he's a fast bowler, you know. Last or uh, last year, he was a good runner, you know. And towards the leg side, just for one run. So five more will get them 100. Satyan Sharif, uh, Scottish national player. And he's current with a Scottish setup these days. And so a bowler of some bit of uh, international pedigree. Yes, if you notice something, you know, a lot of international players are from the subcontinent, but they're playing for different nations, associates, like, you know, UAE, Oman, Scotland, Netherlands. Even in South Africa, Iman Tahir. Oh, this one is pulled into the onside. He goes straight over square leg and this goes for a maximum. I smash. And that brings up the 100 here for GS Spartans. And now they're going over 10 and over, Rana. Okay, you were asking me what GS stand for. It's General Auto Repair Spartans. So, and it's a huge thing you can see on the replay. And he was ready for it, and that's a perfect six to bring the hundred on the board and put a pressure on Florida Scorpion. Ashraf Yusuf showing six run. So Carty is on 48. He gets a good delivery, a bit of a a bit of a collision there. And speaking of auto repairs and auto, that's a little bit of a, a possible uh, collision there. And in some ways, these days in modern cricket, let's take a look. Let's take a look here as uh, uh, Sharif is trying to save a run. And, and the batsman there, Akeem Charles. In fact, uh, Casey Carty, uh, perhaps a little bit in the way. In the end, they were, they were able to, uh, to pinch a single there. Casey Carty just uh, on collision course with uh, Satyan Sharif. In the end, it's 102 on the board, just three balls remaining. Sharif runs into ball to Hakeem Charles. And Charles playing a miss. Sharif is asking for an edge, not out says uh, the umpire. Yes, it was a very good ball and a good appeal, you know. So here you can see swing and a miss, but yeah, there was no edge. The leg. Came off the leg. So Sharif was asking a question to Arshad Yusuf, the umpire. But umpire said it's not out. So two balls remaining. Lenny, 102 for two, 9.4.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they'll get more runs here. Good ball here from uh, from Sharif. And brings the equation down to a final ball coming up. Where can they end? 109 if, they, if this one goes for six. 107 if it goes for four. And so on and so forth. Satyan Sharif has gone for nine in the over so far. Casey Carty is on 49. So, so this will be... So far this over is good. Because... This, this will be a very good 50 if he gets to it with one final ball remaining. And one run he needs. And according to our estimation, they've gone three runs over the par score that we figure out that might be a good challenging score for teams batting second. Yeah, good and batting so from Carthy. And so Satyan Sharif runs into ball to Casey Carthy and Carthy is on 49. And he pushes this one, driving this one up to long off. He's up to 50. And they come back for two, run out one. So run out one. Casey Carty gets a 50. It's 104. It's 104 off 10 overs. Yes, 10 overs came in the last, 10, o 10 runs came in the last over. The score looked very decent here. And you can see Carty was pushing for two, but only one run at the end. And there was a good fielding. And Sharif took the ball and hit the bells to get run out of Charles. So this total right here, Lenny, 104 for three in 10 overs. And you have to, you have to give a credit to Florida Scorpion. They took good catches and especially extras. They have only given a five extra, Lenny. Oh, yeah. So we're waiting for the scorecard. Yes, wait, thanks. So here you go. Only Sakib took the one wicket. David was a little bit high on 22 runs. And Sharif went for 19. Sheikh went for 19. And Shah went for 19 in there, two over Korda. And Saki went for 14. And here's the batting scoreboard. Card did a fabulous job with 50. And David got run out, unluckily, made 36 run. Rest is Peter 8 and Charles 5. So 105. For three, the target. We take a short break. We'll be back. So welcome back to cricket. Welcome, Ian. It's 105 to win from 60 balls. What do you make of that? So Stefan Myberg. Uh, comes out to the middle. We'll pick up the other batsman at the other end. Could be Dush Dushyant Jata. As we get the signal from the umpire, Mangesh Rani. And we're ready for play 105 to win from 60 balls. Shadrach Descarte will be the man with ball. And we'll come into ball to the to the Dutch international Stefan Myberg. So here's the first ball discarded to Myberg. After wait and see, might have come off the pad. Could be a leg by to get things rolling. In fact, leg by is the call. And things are on the way here for the Scorpions as they take on General Otto Spartans. Yes, of course, if you live in the United States, uh, G GA could easily mean Georgia. So Dashiant Jata, the man on strike here is Descarte. And a ball that starts wide again. So we've seen uh, about fast bowling today, um, Eon. We've, se we've seen a lot of left arm quick bowlers and we've seen a lot of wides too but I've got to say I prefer a wide on the off stump to give the uh, keeper some bit of chance to uh, to get to it the, the bad one is the one that goes down the leg side because you <laughs> you know if uh, does uh, 
poses a bit of challenge for any wicket keeper in the world, even the best has problems getting getting across, especially sometimes you're blinded by the sight of the delivery from the batsman. So another wide ball here. So the umpires have gotten good exercise out stretching their arms. And there we go, really wide outside the off time. And I'm, uh, I'm surprised that Jata, the batsman, even played at that one. So the asking rate is 10.5. They're going a three at off two balls. And again, another good ball here from Shadrach Descarte. So he's run in and delivered five times. A couple of times are illegal balls. And so he's given up a couple of runs uh, so far. He hasn't gone for a boundary yet. And uh, whether or not that will happen, we'll have to wait and see. So Jata on strike. Uh, playing a miss. So uh, oh, this one has... Oh, in fact, he's bowled him. He's bowled him. So uh, Dushian Jata goes without scoring. The ball striking the stumps. And Scorpions have lost their first wicket with just three runs on the board. Dushwan Jata goes without scoring. And bowled uh, by Shadrach Descarte. Yeah, Dushan Jata never looked confident. Yeah, I think he came out there to really swing the bat, but um, didn't get going at all. And once Shadrach Descartes put the ball on the on the stumps, the ball just striking the the top of uh, Midland off, and out comes Amitos. Amitos is sing. and he comes in here with still a lot of batting work to be done. 102 to win from 56 balls. Oh, that's a good strike here from Singh. First ball is running up towards the mid-off boundary. And my, oh my, only a single on that uh, good-looking shot here from uh, from Singh, uh, Eon. Well, Stefan Myberg uh, comes in to strike here, and if he bats long enough, I'll I'll tell you a story about Stefan Myberg. But uh, let's see how long he survives. You have to get off the mark. Uh, he gets on inside edge. The inside edge has really played a part in this uh, in this contest so far. Eon, we've seen we've seen about three on the opposing side. All right, so we want to say we want to say a special good evening to to the folks in St. Martin. You're watching your local boys play. They've posted 104, and in reply, they have done well to take care of one wicket so far. And Florida Scorpions, their opposition today, they're batting at uh, five for one, still requiring 100 from 54 balls. So ball going down the leg side. We'll wait and see.
So six off the first over. So Nelson Boland comes into the attack. Yeah, Nelson Boland has been given the ball. He starts pretty well with a, a couple of dot balls here. Short format of the game, every ball conks, and a couple of dot balls to start. Runs in again to ball to uh, to Singh. Singh gets one through the onside. It could come back for a couple of runs. Running up towards the square leg boundary. The man does well to save the boundary, and they come back for a couple of runs. Good looking shot here from Singh. So Stefan Myberg comes in to strike here. Eon at one time, this man on strike there. Stefan Myberg equaled the record for the quickest T20 international 50 of just 17 balls. But uh, that was some years ago. And the other part of the story, now he, he stands about the 32nd player with the fastest T20 50. That's how, that's how T20 cricket has really gone. And this is a slashing shot through the offside. Going to run away towards the backward point. Bunger, and it goes away for four. Off the bat of Stefan Myberg. And it's, uh, it's a lovely looking shot through the offside. Yes, Ian, and I made the point just just to give us a sense of where, how far or how much involvement T20 cricket has gone. Um, a 17 ball 50 was considered extremely fast. Yuvraj Singh and the others holds the record for 12 balls. So that's how things have, have really gone. And you might be wondering where the 17 ball 50 really ranks 32nd.
the one that was confronted in the street that day and asked about some guy again. Once I figured out who was and said he was a real Indian, I knew it was about time to get through him. I swear, while I preached this to three cops at the time, I never finished the same event. Just to get things to the quicker point, six cops in a combat truck is how I was promoted. Six cops in a combat truck is how I was promoted. Oh, that's a big shot from Amatozi Singh, and it's gone all the way. What a shot here from Singh. And that brings up his first six, a lovely shot uh, towards the long on area. So they need 86 from 47 balls. Let's take a look at that in the middle of the screws. And it's bye-bye over the St. Martin flag. It's gone all the way. Cricket Council USA. MAC T20. It's gone all the way. So 86 to win from 47 balls. Shadrach Descarte continues. And Singh is on 11. Oh, a slashing shot through the offside. Going to go bouncing away. And so a six and a four in consecutive balls. And sing on fire. So 82 to win from 46. 10 of just two balls. Yes, Eon. A massive six and then a more a more slashing shot through the offside for four. Oh, a play and a miss. So Shadrach has made a good comeback here. He might be quite relieved to know that his third ball. Two in ten and his third ball is a, is a dot ball, much to the relief. Yeah, we have seen good strike here from Singh. He looks to be the part. Uh, this one has worked into the onside, running up towards the final leg boundary. They'll pick up a, well, they'll settle for one. I thought for a moment they could scamper back for a couple of runs. In the end, the fielder does well to restrict the batsman to only a single. So 81 to win from 44. We are in the third over. Shadrach Descartes has given up 11 in, in four balls. So a couple of balls remaining here will be coming to to both of Stefan Myberg. Myberg comes out of the Netherlands. Dutch player. Not a wide set down here. So uh, pressure on the bowler. Uh, Shadrach has gone for a 12 in this over so far. So pretty soon the lights will come on here at Central Broward Regional Park. Ball driven into the offside is Camper for a single as Myberg changes ends and brings Amatozi Singh, who's played a who, who's played a, quite a cameo so far. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Singh is king. Through the offside. Lofted. Manipulating the shot. And it's over the infield by a long way. It's gone for four. Singh on fire. He goes up to 19. 75 to win from 42. Yeah, still a long way to go. 75 to win from 42 balls. Still asking for almost 11 runs and over. So still a lot of cricket left in this game from a from a fielding and bowling perspective. It's not it's not gone. It's not lost. In fact, 
in fact, you, you you look at the required run rate is higher than the actual run rate of the team. They're going at 10 and over, and they still need 10.71, so still lots of things can happen here. So Sherwin Peters comes back into the attack. A little bit of twist of the tongue there. Sometimes you're tempted to say Sherwin Williams, but that's the paint company people, right? Yeah, it might have been. So we're back with the cricket. 75 to win from 42 ball. Myberg is on 6. Singh is on 19. And I'm quite happy and... Uh, Spartans might be quite pleased that Singh is off strike for the time being. He's been quite dominant, uh, Ian. Definitely, Chris. Um, Singh is really the inner part of the play, so definitely um, we don't want to have Singh on strike like we see for Myberg. We can definitely put Singh out there for him. So Myberg on six. The ball uh, eludes the keeper off an inside edge. Could come back for a couple of runs. They do. And so two more runs here for Stefan Myberg. And brings the equation down to 73 to win from 40 balls. 73 to win from 40 balls. Very scary how that even being right on appears. Yeah, almost 11 the required run rate. They're going at 9.6 at the moment. So Sherwin Peters runs in again to bowl to the to the Dutch national and he squats this one out towards the onside for only a single. That was a good sweet shot here. Young man still trying to do a and he had to forget himself in the air, so probably did the best he could with that. And Stefan Myberg uh, Eon uh, uh, this is not certainly his first visit to the U.S. Open. He's been here several times before. And I played for different units. Uh, haven't seen, over the years, I haven't seen none of the team that he has played for made a meaningful progress towards the, the back end of this series. And uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens today. So this one uh, being played into the onside, it could come back for a couple of runs, and two runs it is off the bat of uh, Singh. And that it brings the equation down to 70 to win from 38 balls. So Singh is doing pretty good as we speak, you know. He's batting very well. So Singh comes back into strike. He has slammed 90. Uh, he has uh, played a very quickly uh, cameo so far, 22 of just... Uh, 12 balls. And Sherwin Peters with five runs in the over so far. Runs in again. And Singh gets a ball that he plays down to long on. And they'll come back for a couple of runs. So that'll bring the equation down to 68 to win from 37 balls. 68 to win from 37. And we've still got one more ball to be bowled here. So uh, this game well and truly on. With Singh on 23, Amitozi Singh, Stefan Myberg on 9. So Singh is doing pretty good as we speak. He's really taking it to the bowlers. He's doing exactly what the captain would have asked him to do. And He's Singh picks up another boundary here. Ball straight down the leg side and a good swing at the bat. Good swing at the blade. And Singh picks up another 4. He goes up to 28. 64 to win from 36 balls. So we have a game on hand here, evenly posed. Batsmen are batting pretty well. So, you know, it's going to be a good game this afternoon. So wherever you're joining from, we thank you for watching on Mac TV. It's cricket, lovely cricket right here at the Broward Stadium. Uh, yes, Ian, this, uh, this, this particular game, Looks like it could go down.
quite um, interestingly. Maybe exciting, 64 to win from 36 balls. But you've got to say that the, that the Spartan does have uh, a lot of life in this game. They're still asking 11 runs and over. Not an easy task. And so we'll have to wait and see who picks up the attack here. 64 to win from 36 balls. So Singh is on 28, and he's looking to bring his tally at least into the 50s because it's well needed this afternoon. So he Daniel Doram given the ball. 64 to win from 36. And a good first ball here from uh, Daniel Doram. Just a dot ball. Well, that's what you want your bowler to do at this point, you know. Every dot ball means that they'll have to get more from the next ball. Pretty good line by the bowler here. Yeah, a couple of good balls here from Daniel. Made sure that the batsman doesn't have any liberty to play one of those big shots, but the challenge will be here to Singh. Singh has batted extremely well. Look at the score there for Singh, 28 out of 14 balls, and I'll tell you how that came, three, six, uh, three fours and one six. So he's been among the boundaries, he's, he's struck the ball, he's found a gap. Daniel Doram to Singh, and Singh is going into the onside, only a single. And this has been relatively a very good over here from Daniel Doram. You can't complain. If you ask your bowler to come in here and he's bowled three balls and he's only given up two singles, Ian. Definitely good bowling. He came in at a critical point here where Singh is going at it and he managed to be containing the two batsmen at this minute. He's doing pretty good. So ball played into the onside here by Stefan Myberg. And it goes away off a reverse shot. What a shot here from Stefan Myberg. And he picks up a boundary. That was a class of a shot by Stefan Myberg, you know, that have four written all over it. Pretty good shot. And he actually just upset the rhythm of Daniel. Yeah, might be wondering might be wondering if he reverses the shot which side the ball goes to. Well, they tell us that uh, you still have to call it the way the batsman was batting, so that will have to go through the offside previous to that ball so it doesn't matter how you reverse he starts as a left hander so it's still the offside 48 28 uh, in fact 29 to sing as he comes back into strike my berg and him has put on 44 uh, for the partnership so far 57 to win from 31 and uh, now the required run weight is up to 11 yeah that one nearly decapitated uh stefan my and so that closes out the over here as Ian, as Ahmed Rana gets ready to come. He and he, he comes into the hot seat, I tell you, because it's 56 to win from 30 balls. 56 to win from 30 balls. Double change. Welcome, Rana. As uh, Vinod Mamchan comes in with uh, Ahmed Rana. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you, Ian. 49 for one after five over. Half of the inning has been done. So 105 is the target. We know Mamchan. I welcome. We know Mamchan. The stylish and the handsome. We know Mamchan. Amir Rana. Thank you, my friend. 49 for one. At the moment, this partnership is worth 46. Let's put this into perspective here, uh, Amit. At the moment, 56 are getting five, nine wickets in hand. I will put the, uh, uh, the, the, the advantage at this point in time, seeing that you have two set batsmen, Singh on 30 and Maiburg on 15, I will put the advantage at this point in time with the Scorpion. I think it's even Steven right now because, you know, anything over 10 running over is not that chaseable. Good. Yep. This delivery is slashed away. Off a cover for six. What a shot there uh, from B Singh. Uh, delivery outside the off stump there from Doral. And he, he was able to get the room to free the arms. You know, shots like that. 
um, is what brings uh, the, the fans through the turnstiles. Yes, yeah, so I agree with you, Bert. Like I said, this looks like anything over 10 running over looks even Steven. But well, that's your opinion. I think that the batting team could well win this easily too. This is slashed away down to Cow Corner. They take one. I thought that better running would have given them two. And that takes the score along now to 57 for one. So at the moment, we're seeing here that uh, 48 required now for victory. And uh, 49 40. required now for victory. And that after this over, you still have four. But the important thing is that you have nine wickets intact. Yes, you're right. Myberg and Singh, they're doing pretty good out there. And the partnership moved to 53. You know. Wonderful weather today after... Uh, rain this morning. This is the third game that we're getting completed. Myberg is taking strike now. Here's Doral. And uh, Myberg looks to pull this through the onside. Even before that delivery was bowled, Ahmed, he was looking For the at leg uh, that leg side. So obviously preconceived. He has to be careful here with Doral. He's again outside the off some again he's looking to pull through the onside. So uh, Doral understands the plan and Myberg will be better served looking to go through the offside along the ground. Yes. Doral is doing best for Spartan right now because they need some dart ball. They need to build up the pressure. That's how they're gonna get the wicket. He's back and pushes it down to backward point. Gets a single, so he goes on to 16, my bird. Singh has been the man taking the attack to the bowlers. 37 of 18. Yes, Stephen Myberg has placed for Netherlands. And last year, they came. Uh, he came with Florida Scorpion too. I think most of the team is the same team that came last year, right, Vinod? Yes. Outside the awesome, driven away nicely, runs here, a lovely bit of feeling on the offside that restricts it to one. So the guys from St. Martin, just a little word on them. They normally win every cricket title that's uh, up for grabs in St. Martin, the Spartans. They actually won the first Mac Cricket 59 title. Also, oh, they are the champion for Mac 59? They are the champion. So, tell tell the viewers and tell me about the Mac 59. Is it like similar like the last man standing? No. It's a 59-ball match. Now, the reason it was not 60 balls, 60 balls constitute a 10-over game, a 10-over innings. That license for 10-over cricket is held by the... Digicel, owners of the Caribbean Premier League. So once it's playing in the Caribbean, uh, Mark couldn't play the 10 over once it, the match was between more than two teams. This is now slashed away through the offside. Runs here for them. If they run quickly, they can get two. My bug is steaming down like an engine and he gets home. So that's two more. 60 for one. Yes. So he decided on 59 balls. It was clever thinking by the Miami businessman. Uh, 59 balls and the first delivery is a free hit the first delivery is a free hit without bowling a no ball yep here is a, a delivery that struck down the ground this is going to go very close to the St. Martin mascot and that's uh, 6 runs so yeah, that score we, we is should be 66 now we met here the, the mascot last year we know that I forgot his name you know uh, he's uh He's from St. Martin team and traveled with them. Yes. Do you remember his name? I think uh, Brass or something? No, he is Ras. Ras. St. St. Martin Ras. Our version up here is Trini Ras. Oh, DJ. And very, yes, and uh, when you greet Trini Ras on the outside, be very careful how you greet him because the R is silent. Okay. So I think you've probably been in that situation before, and you got the experience being an older. Yes. And being uh, my friend. I learned it the oh, hard way. that was a way. catch. Yes. That was a good try for catch. But catch is when you match is win out. Uh, 65 for the loss of one. And uh, yes, 16 to Mayberg. Singh is on 45. He has really uh, taken the fight here. Uh, to uh, these guys from St. Martin. 
Daniel Doral, his brother is bowling from this, our media center end. It's a slashed away to backward point, and that's a single. So one more to Mayberg. Mayberg is doing the right thing. He's not trying to overhit the ball. He's looking to rotate the strike because Singh is the set batsman. Uh, you know, they hunt in pairs, good batsmen, as do good fast bowlers and good commentators, hence the fact that you and uh, Lenny is always on air together. <laughs> I think we have to leave Lenny at Shabrat alone. This time he's swinging and uh, uh, missing. In fact, he, he took the, uh, the top edge of the bat goes down to third man. And that's one more. So because the poor man flight got delayed and got in very late. Yes. And he was so excited he couldn't sleep the all night long to come to the stadium. Well, you can't sleep if you don't have a bed. At the end of the over, the score is 67 for one, Rana. Yes, 67 for one. You're right, you can't sleep when you don't have a bed, but some people like to sleep on the floor. Mm. And some people, you know, people are homeless. They're sleeping all over the street, wherever they get a chance. But luckily... I know you do a lot of work with uh, people like that, a lot of help, and you, yes, you always yes. do a lot of... Yes, and I, I want to congratulate you on that as well. Yep. Yes, Thank and you. I want you to know that uh, you're always welcome to bring any uh, of your food for the boys on the commentary team because Rana, um, Lenny has told me that uh, you have a, a wonderful uh, joint there where you cook some really sumptuous meals. Yes, yes, yes. At the moment it's 67 for one. My bug is 17. So dear viewer, this is Vinod Mam Chan and I'm all about to entertain you. <laughs> Not only we entertain you through cricket, we entertain you through our jokes, through our comedy too. And this is what our US Open is all about, to bring you entertainment right at your home, wherever you are watching. I'm getting a bit worried at the moment concerning the light. I'll tell you why. This is driven powerfully down the ground, and that's a single. So one more to sing. He goes on out of 47 and 68 for one. I think by now the, the artificial lights should have taken effect. I think the sun sunset is like 5.05. Mm -hmm. So I talked to the guy, he said after, as soon as the sun sets, mm -hmm. so probably maybe next or 10, 15 minutes, but this inning will be over by then. Yeah, I think it should come on, it's getting a bit dark. Okay. Yes, it is, yes. You can see in the camera. Well, you can't really see in the camera, Rana. The camera has a different sort of lighting, an internal lighting that shows uh, what you see through coming through your television screen is really bright and it actually is. You can look through there and look straight ahead of you, it is totally different. Yes, I think the front two cameras, they have this uh, program, but if you look at the side camera, mm -hmm. when the fielder was throwing the ball, it shows the darkness has been taken over this ground now. Yes. Sherwin Peters, a man who was born in Trinidad and Tobago, plays, for, he plays his cricket for the Windward Islands, and so he's done really, really well. He is one of the top players in St. Martin. Actually, he got 98 not out in one of the Mac 59 game. Wow. So current situation, 69 for 1, 7.1. Current run rate, 9.6 and 12.7. Required rate. Peters. Well, that's a good delivery. And that's the experience of showing Peters. Just rolling uh, his fingers over that one, taking some pace off it, and the ball not reaching my bug. In the, with the speed that he would have liked. So Singh is on 47. He's had it on striker's end. And uh, Mayberg is uh, struggling to get Peters away. None for 13. This is his second over. Hard hitting all wrong. 36 there. run. We know about 16 balls. 36 to get in 16. This is really uh, entertaining stuff at the moment. That one takes the inner half of the bat. Goes down to a short backward square for one. So the score goes on now to 70 for one. We're in here for an exciting finish. 35 to get. And at the end of this over, there'll be two more. Yes, but the required run rate jump up to 14. So they need at least two boundaries in next overs. And the partnership is doing good, 67. But Singh is the man who can take them home because 47 run he has scored on 23 balls. But it seems like Mayberg is struggling on 18, facing 20 balls. 
This is struck down the ground, much needed, and that's six runs. A delivery pitched up, and Singh reaches his half century as well. His half century came up of just 24 balls. Umpire uh, Arshad Yusuf signals the six, so a length delivery that was struck down the ground for six. Yes, so that's, they need more. You can see in the replay, it's a huge six, and it went to right there, Florida Scorpion, hard. Saying, staying low, that was the key, and he stayed still. He got underneath that one and was able to clear the ropes. This is down the ground now, a lovely uh, pick up there by Carty, the former West Indies under-19 player, the Leeward Islands player as well. And uh, that is uh, one more. 77 for the loss of one. So one delivery to go uh, in this over. So we're looking here at a situation where uh, we could be down to about 28 in the last two overs. This should be exciting. Now the artificial light has not come into effect. So we're having natural light all of a sudden. Even God wants to see this. This is driven through the offside for six. That's a magnificent shot there by Myberg. That was that is always a difficult shot, hitting it over a uh, long off for six. And he didn't advance down the track. He actually arched backwards and was able to, to strike it for six. Well, the good the good guys, the good guys at the, the, the ground here, they're coming to put on the lights. They're asking Rana, which is a very difficult thing for Rana to switch on. So uh, Champy is uh, escorting uh, the official here uh, to turn the lights. And let there be light. And speaking about that, I'm going to leave you now in the company of your very dear friend, the man coming all the way from New York, a very st dodgy, stodgy batsman, very correct, uh, is uh, Lenny Archibald. He's coming in. And uh, at the moment, the situation, just to give you an idea as what, with what is required at this point in time, 22 to get in two of us should be exciting. All right, thank you, Vinod. And Vinod, Mom Chan has to leave us because he has to make sure everything goes on time here. For the and welcome, Lenny. So 22 to win from 12 balls. Amitosi Singh. You might be wondering who he is. Well, he had a signing with Mumbai Indians in 2012. And Stefan Myberg, he's an international star out of the Netherlands. So things are are coming down to the wire here. Singh has batted impressively well for 54 of just 25 balls. And Myberg has put on, um, he has personally come up with uh, 24, almost around a ball, but we saw him missing a couple of balls in the last over, but he has uh, probably come back with some bit of, uh, with some bit of redemption by striking a big six in the last, uh, in the last over. Yes, Lenny, 83 for one after eight overs. Myberg just hit that last six to release the pressure for Florida Scorpion. But General Auto Repair Spartans needs to Lex short door to the left side. But Fielder is there. It's going to be only one run going to be had. And the score moved to 84 for one. So 21 from 11 balls. 21 from 11 balls. And our friend Rashid Ahmed is making sure our mics are working and you got in getting a quality picture. Rashid yeah. Ahmed, Tessin, Ahmed, and Rani and Brendan Goods all are working very hard over here, Lenny. Yeah, Rashid has always been back and forth into the song booth. He wants to have the song almost perfect. And so always these uh, technicians are working on their art. So 21 to win from 11 balls. Daryl runs in, balls to Myberg. Myberg uh, hits this one out towards the long on area and brings the equation down to 20 to win from 10 balls. And... and uh, uh, Ahmed Rana, you might be wondering who is Amitosi Singh. Well, the record shows that he was signed by Mumbai Indians. Indians in 2012, and he's a top player. Plays for Punjab in uh, in top quality cricket in uh, in India. Oh, that's a big shot here from Singh. No man move, and it's gone out of the park. So 14 to win from nine balls. What a strike here from Amitosi Singh. Yes, that's a huge shot. Fielder is still going, still keep going after the ball. And as soon as the lights comes on, seems like there's a light hope comes on for Florida Scorpion. And I think, uh, and I think Ahmad Rana, that six may have tilted the balance for the first time in this game to the Scorpions. Yes, I think not only that six, but I think the sing inning 
is the difference between the team. If Florida Scorpion go home from here, they win, then that's the that's the batting of Singh makes the difference in both teams. So he's six to one off twenty seven. Look at your look at your board. And Myberg is on 25 off 22, a partnership of 87. Oh, what a shot again from Singh. He's gone all the way. And not a maximum, couple of maximums in a row. And I think it's all over here for GA Spartans with a couple of big stri strike uh, off the bat of Amatozi Singh. Rana, it could be curtains down here for GA Spartans. Six Singh has arrived in the crease. Florida Scorpion has been doing good. Singh is the difference right here. Like you said, his background is he played for Punjab. He got signed up with the Mumbai Indians. And Mumbai Indians is a big team, very expensive team, you know. So they don't sign any ordinary player. So he must be very special. Well, he has played a special in in so far. 67 of 28, a match winning in ins. And, and back to back to sixes. And, and, and Ahmad Rana, even if he goes, if he gets out now, eight of eight, run a ball in the T10 game. You shouldn't lose. A batting team shouldn't lose this game. I, I agree with you. So Daryl runs in again. 14 off the over. This one is uh, is struck and struck well. Straight down the ground. They could. Well, they settle for one. But I think enough damage has been done in this over. 15 runs in this over so far with still a single ball remaining. Yes, one was this, this exp hour is very exp expensive. As you can see, two sixes has been hit. And here's Myberg facing Myberg tried to reverse sweep it and he does a great job in a full run. We see in a previous game that the batsman tried to reverse sweep but he couldn't get it. But this is the expert. So anybody watching us live, here's your lesson how to reverse sweep it. Well, that's 19 runs off that over. I think that's the over that breaks the camel back. And I think J.S. Spartans will look back and know that they have lost this game because of the uh, ninth over. And over that cost them some 19 runs. Good hitting from, uh, from Singh. And now Myberger is beginning to toy with the players. And so three runs needed from six balls. It could be all over here for J.S. Spartans. So three runs to win from six balls. We'll have to wait and see who picks up the ball here. But this is going to be almost impossible to contain with three runs needed from six balls, Rana. I think game is done and dusted now. And Singh is facing. And appeal to the umpire. And umpire says, oh, like you said, if Singh get out, it's not going to make any difference to Florida Scorpion. But anything is possible in cricket. So, so far is a dot ball and a wicket has fallen. Three run needed in five ball, Lenny. Yeah, it might be a little too late here. Uh, Spartans have struck and you could see, you could see they, as they regroup, not one of those enthusiastic uh, grouping up. And they know that the writing is on the wall. Three runs remaining from five balls as number 12 comes out to the middle. So Cameron Shake, Miami Sharks, and uh, and Houston Stars will come up next. Houston Stars, a couple of big big players. Yes, Houston Umar Stars Gul. has big player Omar Gold, Sohail Khan, Adnan Rasul, and Talha Merchant, Ad uh, Adnan Harun, Ramiz Raja Jr., and Umar Gul, and Muhammad Farrokh, Anwar Ali, Muhammad Hamad Azam, and uh, Saifullah Banga, she's under 19 player, Hassan Khan, Jermain Blackwood, Faraz Ahmed, Arham Khan. It's a big team, Lenny. So Nelson Boland runs in again. Can he defend three runs from five ball? Flicked into the onside by Cameron Sheik. And brings Scorpions with just a couple of runs to win this game. A single run will tie and level the scores. And a couple of runs will take Maybe them super over. For, another, for another win. They have done well in this series, Scorpions. So Houston Spark going to play next game with Miami Shark, Lenny. And you know Miami Shark has the big players as well. Yeah, but uh, we're just watching as uh, things could finish up here. Here is Myberg. He is, uh, he's played a good hand. Supported well by Singh, who blasted his way to 60-plus. 
And now through the offside, this could be the game. Fielder comes around, doesn't so save a boundary. And that's the end of the match. Scorpions win. Scorpion wins by eight wickets. And a very emphatic victory here from Scorpions, led by Amitozi Singh, 60 plus. And of course, supported by Myberg on 33, not out. And they have won by defeating uh, GA Spartans. Yes, GA Spartan has lost the game. And a good win for Florida Scorpion. They needed that because they lost the first game. So you see Lenny 107 for two more than 100 is chaseable here too if the teams are strong. And you can see the mascot is coming in the background even though they lost. But mascot is still showing his flag and raising it high. So here's the scorecard from Scorpion. Myberg make 33. Jetta went without scoring, but Singh is the uh, singing is the difference in, in between Florida Scorpion. And all Sheikh has to do just walk out to the park and made one run. And here's Spartan, 22 runs for this great Carte. And Peters was very expensive. And Darrell, I think Darrell over was the difference. And he bowled two overs and 28 runs. So 107 for two. Florida Scorpion has made it. We're going to take a short break. And next game we will be live in Houston. A star versus the Miami Shark. And here's the mascot talking to Danny Khan. So we're going to take a short break.